Uh, so in this video I want to talk about tree diagrams. Now you've probably seen tree diagrams before, but I really want to teach it in, in my way because I think that there's some, there's some key bits that you may have missed in the past or maybe you didn't quite understand. Um, okay, so here's our bag of marbles again. I know we've got a funny colour list. Let's call it a marble with like a cross on it. Um, now we want to know the probability of pulling out two marbles, two blue marbles, and we use this word with replacement. Now what that means is that someone's going to reach into the bag and pull out a marble. They're going to look at it. Oh, that's a blue one. And then they're going to put it back. And then they're going to reach back in again and pull one out. So that means that each time they, they pull out, there's going to be four marbles in that bag. A blue one, a cross one, and two yellow ones. Um, and so that's an easier question than the, than the different question, which would be pulling out a marble, putting it aside. Pulling out a marble, put it putting it aside. That's because the probabilities in that one change each time that you do it. Because you're pulling things out, the probability of something happening is changing. But we're going to look at that later on, but right now we're looking at with replacement. Important that we note that, that phrase. Okay, so first thing I like to do when I'm drawing a tree diagram, and I know a lot of people don't do this, but I think it's a really important first step to understanding a tree diagram. Everything that happens in here is our first trial, and everything that happens in here is our second trial. Okay? Um, now, let's see what could happen. Now, we follow all possible possibilities. If you're the kind of guy that's into like parallel universes, in a parallel universe, someone's going to pull out a blue one, someone's going to pull out an X one, someone's going to pull out one of these, these yellow ones. So, it'll look like this. In one universe, a blue one would appear. In another universe, a cross one. Don't put wiggly lines in here, put straight lines if you can. Um, in another universe, one of these ones. And in another universe, the other one. Maybe I'll name them just to make life easy. There's a one and there's a two. Okay, so in all possible universes, we've got this covered. Now, in our second trial, we do the same thing all over again for each one. So, a blue one, a dotted one, one, two. And we continue on with this for each universe. Now you can see it starts to get really messy here. But that's okay. Uh, later on we're going to learn a much nicer way of doing this. And we're finished. That's it. There's our tree diagram. Now, tree diagrams are useful for a couple of things. First of all, using this tree diagram, I can figure out what the sample space is. That's all possible outcomes. Now all we need to do is count how many branches there are at the very end of our tree diagram. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So our sample space size, so n of the sample space, is equal to 16. So there's 16 possible outcomes here. Now the question was, what is the probability of getting exactly two marbles? Now that only happens on one of our branches. This branch here. Okay, so now we can actually do some maths here. The probability of two marbles is equal to the number of times two marbles happens divided by the size of the sample space. And two marbles only happens once and the size of the sample space is 16. So if you reached into that bag of marbles and you pulled them out, looked at it, put it back, pulled it out, looked at it, uh, the probability of getting exactly two blue marbles from that trial 
would be 1 in 16. Uh, I'm going to take a break here, but we're going to look at the next video. We're going to do this uh, a slightly different.